what I like about him, because, okay, I when I'm thinking I'm going to do this, and then I'm more um, organized into what I want out of the AI, right? So I kind of stay within those parameters where I want what I specifically am trying to get out of it. But with Deep, Deep will open like a rabbit hole, an ethereal realm, right through and go. And then he's opening doors, doors, doors. He gets lost in there. It doesn't matter because he can pause the render and then sleep, wake up and start the journey from right there. But yeah. that's how like Deep's actually found interesting ways to do stuff. And yeah, his level of experimentation is masterful. I really respect that. And I am on in the behind the scenes always bugging him to get his input because he's definitely the master. Wow, man. And I just Hey, this is a new frontier, right? So AI videos, AI in general, it's a new frontier. And when you start doing experimentation with a new frontier, like a scientist, so to speak, you, your results are going to be great. Um, and that's what I think of Deep. He's like this AI scientist that can go and play around and do all these experiments and experiment with his music and get yeah, fantastic see, I results. I think that's the other um, depth he has. Well, I said depth, deep surface, or, you know. <laughs> it goes together. <laughs> and because him actually being also a musician and he makes his own music, if uh, he didn't have that background, you will see his studio right behind him. No joke. And it's a massive level of equipment he's got. And so, yeah, I think that having him in that category he's his experimentation just takes another whole uh frame to you know the visuals and everything and i know you also use um you use newer frames can you tell us like what other stuff you use um with the videos you make uh yeah well i use the pika now using that some more that's pretty fun to make short clips but for after i use after effects uh the adobe stuff products like premiere and after effects and uh magic music visualizer is uh one of the things it's if you want to be really calm in your video you can just punch it up later in some of these with that are audio reactive like that or resolume is one of the things people use similar so yeah here's the first one it's the um where we're buying yeah man. so and keep the, <laughs> the guy's screaming. Uh, that, man, that, that is like as gnarly as it looked. That came out pretty good. Yeah, it did. It did. This is the one where I've been working on um, werewolf. Oh yeah. Face. So, it, it's yeah. a little bit blurry, but um, we we did that by I, I took um, Beep's suggestion on that one and. Um, we did a prop that says basically it's a circus act. Um, man gently puts his face in werewolf's mouth, and then werewolf closes his mouth. Is how we were able to get the werewolf to bite, get the AI to bite the werewolf. The man said, the "Yeah, to bite you you, you can't just tell it, hey, uh, it's biting it because um, you know, there's like the sensor filters and stuff." Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, I'll be honest. Okay. I, I know why they put them there that I completely understand that, but they, and I think they're improving their filters as they go They're They're trying to let people be creative. I know some AI um, services are at the same time. They want to prevent, you know, the abusers to just not make like crazy stuff or whatever. Oh, I, but I, I'm just going to say, I mean, if this is an art form, it has mm -hmm. to be an art form. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. 
there's two points on that. I think the first point is I think they're more concerned because I've been thinking about it a lot recently. I think they're less concerned about people doing like weird stuff on it. Honestly, I think they're more concerned with like kids using weird stuff. So like an 18 plus like rule set, right? So I think because mm -hmm. anybody can sign up, there's like a worry about that type of stuff. So I think all these AI companies need to do like Pika runways, just have a an 18 plus like button, right? That you right. Submit, verification, yeah. like, you know, submit your ID, whatever. Just yeah. you're an adult, and then you don't have to worry about that censorship anymore. I think if they just did that, it would solve a lot of problems. Yeah, I agree. Well, um, I'll show you. Oh, go ahead. I'll, I'll show you guys this one. Now let you speak, Keith. I'm sorry. This, this is just a kind of the atmosphere for the werewolf, so to speak. So looks good. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's. No, I like that the camera, like it's bouncing. It's, yeah, walking, you know, yeah. right, right, right. Bouncing, bouncing in. Yeah, that's nice. it. Was not just static, you know. Yeah. It it yeah. had a little more sway in there. Right. And then the last thing I'll just kind of show with neural brain is what I did too. I'm working on a lot here, so um, but to open this up in the editor. Um, you can do this with neural frames as well. Which... Right. That's good. You actually. So this is actually the. Uh, web ui mm -hmm. which almost it looks like a video editor and if you see there's the prompt box and you know he has a pull up he's got different settings for the camera movements mm -hmm. and uh, the strength and the smooth for the frames so these are all the creator is inputting off his own accord and you know kind of varying the settings as he needs Go ahead, play the uh, render a little bit so you know people can see. Oh yeah, let me let me see if there's something I can render on this one. No, he means just oh, play it. Not. not you I'll don't mean render it. it, do you? Oh. No, 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 just play it. Yeah, play the uh, render. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, let me go back here and to the very beginning, and we'll we'll play. So, I just wanted to show this with the screen. Wow, that's that's some good camera movement there. Yeah. And solid on yeah, the background and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing what you can do. Um, and you're using Pika to like train this, right? To like kind of set it up. Uh, like, no, I think it's Pika all 100% neural frames for this. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so this is just a image I created in um, Midjourney. Right well, there. you really, you really have your like prompting style like down pat because the consistency between the different platforms is pretty pretty good man because when i try you know if i were to do something like that it would look very different on both ends yeah the, the key to pika is um don't use the text prompt instead just prompt from a put a photo in there so hmm. no notice um, how everything starts the same here it's yeah. because i'm using a mid journal journey photo which is a very high definition photo um, for for it to use because if you don't if you don't if you don't use a photo it's going to do these uh, cartoonish um, renderings like mm -hmm. for example this right here is kind of like cartoony not, and also not very good but <laughs> uh, but um, there so there's another um, caveat to you know using yeah, if uh, to the viewers if they're looking. How many different tries he had to go through to actually get what he yeah. wanted? And yeah, it's not it. just, yeah, yeah. It's not like he's just going to give it to the AI and he's going to get a perfect motion out of it. Yeah. That, that you're, you're seeing a wrestling match going on on that screen with the AI. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a, you know, a director making a film. You know, they have like 20 right. in one scene, right? And so they get it just how they want it. Yeah, there's multiple cuts and there's things that so just AI write off, like just write off. You know, like give us like a how many hours did you spend just just doing all that stuff? Oh, uh, I spent like a week so far doing all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, for this one video, I spent a whole week. Yeah, so. no, I believe it. Um, this stuff takes longer than people think for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah so I guess I'm... one where I got got them howling. Go ahead, deep. Go ahead, uh, I don't know. That's all right. Like you guys, you do your, you do it like a different. So you're saying it takes a week and all this stuff because of the, you're doing story elements and you have a vision you're wanting to right. capture. And like kind yeah. of my my thing is like if I took a week on something, it's going to end up feeling or looking like shit to me. It's not all, <laughs> not always. What what I mean is 
because I I don't have that. Like we talked about last night, you you got this attention diving in there. I'd rather like do something to see what happens. Is it workable? Do it again, you know. And so I I kind of do the, I guess the same thing, but mine's on a. It's not focus. It's just like I wait until it hallucinates the way I want it to, and you guys are trying to make it, you know, perform as a th- which is a viable thing. If we could get AI to generate next Indiana Jones movie, you know, it'd be a lot cheaper and a lot better maybe, but it would, uh, mm-hmm. whereas I'm, I'm just trying to see, you know, what they fed Indiana Jones when he got captured by those tribes, you know, and he's sitting there hallucinating. <laughs> so, uh, but th- well, it's, uh, but yeah, I'm sorry. Go Gabe, ahead. Do you want to show us some of your stuff? Uh, yeah, let's put, well, I assume that it's different styles for different artists, right? Right. And so right. kind of like you have different director styles or mm-hmm. different. No, no, uh, but but that's the you know the cool thing about it. Like yeah. uh, everybody has a niche of you know doing what they want, and that's the flexibility. Yeah. Ooh, bring it on the poos, man. Yeah, uh, yes. poos. Yeah, because of Suno, I started the poos thing, and uh, well, actually, because of Chat GPT, I got them to tell me what poos is and they came up with all these ideas and i took those ideas and put it into suno and to make a commercial and he's like you gotta see poos and i was like okay and so then poos became instead of a product it became a band and it you know it's just ideas that spawned from this and it could have been just an idea or if you know i be maniacal and just keep making shit time over and over again and but yeah this is like trying to get poos uh it, uh, this is one of their videos and hit, sitting there. Hit that, uh, hit the volume on that. It's oh, no. muted. Yeah, I know. I got it muted. It, I don't want it to play. I'm not. Oh, no, no. Let us hear it. No. Let us hear it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> can I hide this thing? Yeah, okay. Still up? Okay. Yeah. So this was like forever. Like I'm sitting there trying to get the band like you're saying and then instead of it focusing on the band i was kind of let's just see what happens and all of a sudden words appearing on the grill you know because you have some graffiti uh so it just like i enjoyed seeing it create this place with the you know i could show you the, some of the the prompting and stuff but it was graffiti in cities and you know go ahead yeah definitely show us your uh editor you know okay. so we can see what's going on over there this yeah this is incredible this is uh yeah trying to recreate some concert scenes and stuff and oh uh, wow that yeah, that that <laughs> transition there was epic yeah it's pretty it, fun it looks like it's like almost in reverse even though it's not in reverse if that makes sense like yeah, it's yeah. kind of trippy now i don't know what is here from the original stuff and what's been moved but uh this is so how many hours do you spend doing just this one just, you know, uh, uh, estimate. Actually, I started it. In, uh, prob- the total hours, uh, probably, I don't know, man. Well, let's see. I could. Uh, Is it more uh, than 24? Uh, d- so I started it, probably took two hours. And then I remember I quit this. Nico jumped in our chat and I pulled this up and I started to do a render and it, it went to a transition I like. So I th- I'd probably say about eight to 10 hours. Uh, Maybe, uh, maybe longer because of the rendering and forgetting stuff in between. But I mean, to sit down for about throughout this long. But then you also made the track for it, right? Well, yeah, yeah the track came first. Yeah, so right the track it took you know the it's only two minutes long, so it took maybe an hour and soon of messing around with the different versions that I pulled up. Then throwing this in here, you know, it, so I guess it's actually it is longer because. To build the band, you have to go. This is all custom models, so you go and find the right. images that you want for the band, the the light show and the stuff, and the way that this uh, kind of shifts into holographic stuff. Yeah, I had to. I build a specific model t- for to get like the band, the lead singer, when he that guy right there. Uh, you know, so yeah, there there's there's a lot more work than just the rendering of this, going through and figuring out. You know, once that you, definitely has a Rob Zombie look going on there. Yeah, yeah, he's he's very uh, out there looking. But the, these guys aren't from Earth; they're not from this realm, so they can be a little exotic. They appear where there's things are going to happen, like at the conjunction of ley lines in the universe, let's say, and they're there to stop the incursion of Cthulhu and 
<laughs> Democrats. <laughs> so, so yeah, the uh, but yeah, there's a lot of time in building the model and figuring out what you want, and that's part of the thing with the luck of experiment. Instead of trying to chase stuff specifically like you guys do, is realizing, hey, this kind of happens if you just do this, or you know, try a different little object. And whereas, like you, Saint talking early on about getting the characters crisp and how to you know the stuff that he was feeding it. i was way over feeding images into these things and to realize i don't need 200 images to do something and then that also using only 10 or 15 of some aspect gives you more things that you could throw in there to build it an even more right. comprehensive uh, environment or world so yeah I, this is uh this is a really uh, well done model, to be honest. Like, yeah, it, I think this is the first time I've actually seen this one. Yeah, it, it felt broken because, like I say, I started out and I was like, okay, they're on the stage, and then they're they're just not looking, they're not staying like a band. So, I about this point here, I was like, well, I'll reprompt it with this guy, and then I nothing. It, I kept going, and it wasn't doing great. So, I, I eventually, I was just like, let's just start putting this motion in here see what it does and then you know it went to this so after that happened i was like holy shit you know added the, i remember adding the word fire on this part uh i didn't have fire <laughs> so, in there huh so i want to bring uh attention to the viewers about like uh so what you're looking at is not it's a very dynamic art piece here he did the music then he created so he has this uh meta world i would say you know the term everybody uses these days and he his he has lovecraft he is kind of you cater yeah. to and yeah. Yeah. so he has he all of his videos and the characters he has in there are kind of related to all those realms and so yeah so once you check out some of his stuff you'll kind of start seeing it and Poos is like one of the bands in there. And I think you have other uh, Poos and there was another one, Nebula. Yeah, Nebula's the female band side. I, I had female, you know, in the because the story stuff with between and all this multiverse, if you want to say uh, stuff was there before. But then when you get in Suno, it was a song was, you know, it's using your lyrics. So you're determining like so the story in the songs is my stuff but it's also kind of relevant to the between stuff this abstract weird stuff and so when i got a female vocalist all of a sudden it's like uh you know you're trying to justify well how can i bring this into the mythos how can i you know bring it and then it just started uh i was talking about nebula that was the chick and so uh her coming out and singing it it was just like oh this is perfect so yeah i started uh i started a girl band i got a boy band got one of just like these slime ball ogre things that you know sounds a lot like throat rock or throat singing so yeah no, so yeah, that's really cool about uh deep's work because like where i do uh narrations for my lovecraft themes you know just straight up storylines and visuals he actually uses uh music and his lyrics to do the story through his videos so you know so it's very interesting dynamics you know coming from an artist's perspective so yeah that's what we were talking about holy hell <laughs> yes <laughs> girl, that's well, well one thing that i think that that deep does very well is he basically the video becomes kind of like this instrument right so oh, you're right yeah so, i'm sorry like, it becomes you know, Kind of like the you, instrument to display uh, yeah right, right your your music like you and i we we're very story oriented we try to just build the story out it has to be that perfect story deep it's just um the it's just a visual of his music it's what his video is and i just want something for that, people to what, be able to look at you know just like uh optical yeah. illusion what do they call those those you know where you just watching stuff happen while you had maybe smoked some pot or drank some beer or want to think about something, <laughs> you know, uh, it's, a, it's a complete stimulus package. My generation, yeah. we call that vibes. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, it's all stuff. It's all most of everything I try to do is from that kind of jo- that world, and uh, because then it justifies wasting time. Like I'll just let it, I'll just let it render and if see what happens. Because that's part of what I did is I'm exploiting with the early mid journey stuff. It when you got the stuff's breaking and there's extra arms and they're twisted sideways, and then with AI, how it you, the character disappears and becomes something else. It kind of helped build this whole idea of the multiverse and it reinforces itself. So I'm using the features of the AI that people would call a flaw, but you're featuring it saying, no, it's going to, uh, is this too graphic for you guys thing? Well, no, okay, man. Okay. Okay. So this is like, just, this is just some, I, I wanted to play and, you know, generate some stuff. So I start just to generate background for the, project i'm trying to work on to make a cohesive uh story out of all this stuff so uh that's one thing people like it's doing it it you could go on pika and make this oh it's cool and i have this idea but if you don't just keep going back and chipping away and creating all these pieces that you need the next day or next time you're serious about it then you're just stuck with ideas so it's it's as simple as just you know, getting up off your ass, push and render or doing something, just do something instead of thinking about it. While you're thinking about something, have something else rendering, have something exactly. else building or, you know, farmers don't think about growing crops. They have to plant some crops and think about, it, you know, so it's. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I am. Um you know, you've talked to me about that concept and like the last few months have been crazy for me because I have like nine projects like always going now because I basically just, I focus on whatever my brain is able to have right. an idea for, right? So if I get stuck somewhere, if I'm rendering this, for example, and I can't think of the next frame, I'll just stop, move on to something else, do yeah. that for until, you know, and until I, it gets sparked and I'll come back and I just bounce around like crazy. Because uh, yeah, because otherwise you're just stuck with all these thoughts in your head and then, you know, you might lose them, you might just go crazy, like who knows. Yeah, yeah making the I mean, we're here I, I my whole thing was like i i gotta make something i want to make something i want to wake people up and uh like with the music it was uh like you know if i want to put words in there or something well first off my music is weird as shit so i need visuals to make them <laughs> to trick them into sticking around yeah. to hear something that was maybe good later in the song and uh <laughs> then it was like well how do i you know everybody's being lied to we're all vic- they're all victims of lie even the people you don't agree with you, ca- you can't hate them because they've been lied to so it's like how can we wake people up and then you just start creating stuff and then all that kind of went away because i was making music i didn't think about the news and the propaganda and same with the videos and then when you hear stuff you can easily just make a video about a guy who pissed you off and uh, have it, have fun with it. Don't have to destroy it. <laughs> yeah. Post it, and you can move on. And be like, yeah, I already talked about that. And then you know, right. so it's a, it's a, it's a long meme sometimes. Or, but you know, you can make it more than just a quick Twitter post. Uh, you can do anything with this kind of these tools. That it, it, it's uh it's a, it's amazing, man. I don't know. My my. I, I'm no, sorry. Uh, you, uh, you. Uh, I'm glad you actually went uh in that direction yeah the what so basically if you want to direct your um let's say controversial point of view or whatever there's a creative way to do it you know you can put all that energy into it and uh hey the ai will translate it if you wanted to translate it yeah yeah well, I just want to add if um, you can have, with AI, you can have a different mindset, right? So yeah, um, that, that's that's the beauty of it is you can come in and just yeah. put what you feel and let the AI translate what you feel into images and um, with a song and display your feelings right there on the screen. It, it doesn't have to be a story or it doesn't have to be a traditional type movie or a music video. It yep. could be something totally different. Calls it like my neural, which is abstract because you know there's no definition to that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah if uh, if for anybody watching, learning, and the reason we do these podcasts is especially to bring into view like what actually people are using the AI for, and I think today I actually have the best two examples to give, <laughs> literally. And like, if 
you heard deep, you heard Chess, how they got into it and what, you know, they found interesting about it. And there is an appeal to it. Don't be scared. And the stuff actually what we're using with neuroframes, you 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 cannot make it do something unless you really want it to do something. It's it's not just you go in there and it's going to start happening. Yeah. You, you, but it will take your creativity and translate it the way you want it to. Go ahead, Taku. Yeah, so kind of quick question for all of you, because um, we kind of brought it up at the start of the call. Um, how you were saying, like, a lot of, like, your generation, um, like I think it falls, like, the Gen X, like, variable sort of, right? Yeah. Um, I've noticed that, too, that it, there is a bigger following in the, the AI community with, like, that generation. Why do you guys think that, like, my generation, the millennials, millennial, Gen Z kind of stuff, like, they're less active, you know? Um, I think uh, it would be more after the millennials, literally. Uh, I've seen a lot of millennials using it, but it's, like, my kids... Older. And, uh, you're the, you know, right after the cusp of millennials, I would say it's kind of like very less. I, I have no clue, but I think uh, our generation had a lot to grow up with. Like, you know, the movies, the music, the icons. There, there was a lot of stuff we could relate to. And I don't know if that's true for, you know, the newer generations. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's, that's at least my perspective. So the new generations entertain themselves in a different way than we entertain ourselves. They have social media, they have TikTok, they have um, like memes <laughs> and stuff like that. So um, when we grew up, um, especially Gen X, uh, there was no internet, there was no social media. There was books, there was movies, there was music, um, and there was imagination for the most part. Right. So, so 